Hi guys, Dane here, and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. It is currently Sunday, the 25th of October 2020. Uh, I'm just catching up with some booktube, getting some work done, doing a bit of reading. So I'm currently reading The Golden Apples of the Sun by Ray Bradbury. Oh no, Biggie, I'm reading this one. Uh, reading this. Uh, but I'm right at the end of it now, so um, it's been pretty good so far, uh, full review will be coming. And then next up I'm going to read this, which is Vertigo to Go by Brendan Booth Jones. So yeah. Oh, hello. Things just go round and round. Yes, they do. I am listening to um, my audiobook of Night Watch by Terry Pratchett. I have probably less than an hour left to go on that, so I should finish that this evening. Um, my next audiobook, oh, I'll tell you about this because there are some YouTube channels here as well. So basically, I've finished all my stuff on my Netflix Watch Later list. I've finished uh, all of my YouTube Watch Later list. So now I'm doing Night Night Watch is um, my October 2020 rereadathon audiobook. So in November I have only You Can Save Mankind, and in December uh, Death on the Nile by Agatha Christie. Uh, and then I have some other notes here on. Uh, basically, what I'll do is I'll go to some YouTube channels I like and repopulate my Watch Later playlist with a load of their old videos. So I want to do The Chase, which is a British um, TV quiz show. Basically, I don't have a TV license because I, I don't watch live TV, so um, my only source of watching this quiz show is by watching the highlights on YouTube, uh, which is fine because, oh, hello, Biggie, because there are about 300 episodes worth of highlights or whatever for me to go back through, and they have the questions in, which is all I watch it for anyway. Uh, then we have 42, which is uh, a YouTube channel which I might be pitching to write some articles for, well, some scripts for their show. They have like 3 million subscribers as well and they do a lot of cool videos so I'm probably going to binge on those. And then there's one that Susie sent me as well um, and I can't remember the name of it, I keep forgetting it. I know it's a short name and I'll recognise it when I see it. But she sent me like four videos from this channel and they've all been really good because they look into like... Uh, for example one of them was like why Avatar has the most ironic music ever, not The Last of the Airbender, the other one. And it's basically because the people making the music went out of their way to create something that like deviated from the western norm and was supposed to sound like alien music based on like a load of um, cultural, um, you know, r real world music. And then James Cameron was like, nah, it's too weird, we're not going to use it, which then makes it super ironic, you know? Oh, bloody hell, Biggie. Right, drama in the Cobain household. So that's what I'm currently doing anyway. Uh, I've just finished recording my next radio show, which goes out tomorrow. So I'm probably going to re record the radio show after that. Shit, I forgot I was supposed to... Uh, okay, I'm gonna have to email someone. I was supposed to interview someone this evening and I, I forgot. So I will have to reschedule that. But uh, yeah, that's where I'm at, fam. Alam. Tough evening, is it, Biggie? Yeah, I know that feel. Let me give you a little. Oh, yes, got your chin. I got your chin. I got your chin. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, lovely. Okay. Look, we need to get rid of that bit later, but we won't do it now, okay? Yes, I'll hold your hand. No claws, no claws, please. Thank you very much. It is a pleasure to meet you, sir. Sorry, we should fist bump, shouldn't we? The claws are coming out, Biggie. The claws, ow. Fist bump. Boop. You cleaning your claws? Carry on, then. Zoomed. Me and Biggie are listening to uh, that's Rick Astley, as in never gonna give you up. But uh, yeah, he's doing ever long now, apparently. Oh, yeah, uh, I should update you on here as well. I've finished listening to my audiobook of Night Watch by Terry Pratchett. So I'm currently just listening back through tomorrow's radio show. Uh, that's all recorded ready, and so I'm just gonna go and do a tag. I think it's the get to know the writer tag. And then I'm going to start work on next week's radio show, which puts me quite far ahead of things, which is good. Uh, quite a lot of editing to do. Oops. Um, reasonable amount of work, but not a scary, like, terrifying amount of work to do. So cracking on with that, although I've got some art centre things happening soon. Yo! I'm currently watching Trick or Treat Halloween Fails on Fail Army. 
I finished reading The Pearl and Burning Bright by John Steinbeck. Overall, probably 3.75. I really enjoyed The Pearl. Burning Bright, maybe not so much, but overall, I'm glad I read it. And I'm now reading The Binding by Bridget Collins. So, uh, Susie gave this to me. She read it. She really enjoyed it. She highly recommended it. So, I thought, why not? Well, also, she gave it to me, so I feel like I have no choice. But it's good, because I'm enjoying it so far. So, it's all right. Um, I made some Chinese earlier. It's like a stir-fry noodles with like some onion, garlic, um, uh, gi ginger, yeah, ginger, uh, soy sauce, Chinese five spice, bit of turmeric, and then some like vegan sausages in there. So it's it's pretty nice. Um, oh, and I got a book today, which I saw on someone's channel. I can't remember who now, um, but he's well known in the Stoic community apparently. Ryan Holiday and Stephanie Hansel Hanselman, Lives of the Stoic: The Art of Living from Zeno to Marcus Aurelius. So I'm looking forward to reading it and uh, seeing what I make of it. Uh, what else happened? I went to the art centre earlier just to have a quick meeting with someone and to get a few bits done So that was all fine and uh, I have another couple meetings there tomorrow then tomorrow night I'm going to Susie's We're having lentil food. I'm watching a movie. I think so that should be good uh, And that's all I got for you. So now I'm gonna go and do some other filmy bits um, I've just been watching Cinnamon Toast Ken play. I think it's called Fan Phasmophobia something like that Ghost hunting game, it's the current trend. So, I've been watching that. Uh, it's currently quarter to four in the morning. My sleep is screwed. Um, I went to see Susie earlier and I could have stayed over, but I didn't want to keep her awake all night with my terrible sleeping pattern because she gets up at five and so she, in like an hour or so. <laughs> um, I'm just cracking. Oh, it's started playing again. So yeah, I've just been cracking on with being productive this evening. I've wrapped some eBay stuff. I've been reading some more of The Binding. So I think I'm about to halfway through this now. Uh, enjoying it quite a lot so far. And I will be doing a full review of that. Um, I've just been writing a script actually. It's for a YouTube channel called uh, 42. Um, like a demo script thing for a work thing. In fact, I probably can't say that. I can't say the name anyway, but I'm writing a, a script uh, for a reason, well it's got over 3 million subscribers, I could say that I think. Um, so I've, as a freelance thing, I've had a sort of opportunity to uh, write a paid 1,000 word sort of sample script that we can then move into 3,000 words for the full thing. So that would be good if that comes to fruition, but either way, that's been fun to work on and I've just finished doing that. And uh, so now, I'm kind of running out of work again. I've got some editing slash ghostwriting I can do for a client. Um, so I will probably spend some time doing that. And some art center stuff, I guess. Um, yeah, I'm at a point at the moment where I'm kind of ahead with my work, but I like being ahead as well. So it's just nice knowing that I've still got enough work coming in, which I think I do, but I don't know. So we will see. But um, yeah, that's where we're at. So currently reading The Binding and then up next, I think I'm going to read Lives of the Stoics by Ryan Holiday. Um, the Art of Living from, The Art of Living from Zeno to Marcus Aurelius. So I've been getting, getting into Stoic philosophy because I'm mega hip and stuff. Now, um, there's just some really interesting concepts in it. Like I like the idea of, I mean, it just appeals to the efficiency nut in me that there's no point wasting time trying to change things that you have no control over or trying to worry about things you have no control over. So it makes it just makes a lot more sense to focus on um, the things that you can do that are going to have the most effect. It's almost like the 80-20 principle in a way as well, like focus your efforts where it's going to have the biggest effect. And uh, I guess like the idea behind Stoic philosophy is it's really your thoughts and your actions are like the only things that you can really control and controlling your thoughts are difficult like uh, I mean I have mental health issues and stuff so I know what it's like to struggle to control um, thoughts I suppose but as a general rule I think you do have a certain amount of control over your thoughts and like you can rationally decide how you're going to react to situations rather than going on like gut instinct and emotion and stuff um, yeah, it's good stuff, so I'm looking forward to reading that and seeing what Marcus Aurelius can teach me, because I don't know too much about Stoicism. I'm a beginner, I'm a rookie Stoic.
Okay, it is currently five of the clock in the morning. Uh, cinq de matin. A je ne suis pas fatigué parce que je ne dors pas. I just said it's five o'clock in the morning, um, but I'm not tired because I never sleep. Well, because I don't sleep. Um, my sleeping pattern's kind of screwed up. I probably will try and get some sleep in a bit. We'll see. I've kind of been up most of the night. Um, Susie's coming over this evening, so I've pre-prepared some of the food. I've caught up with all of my eBay sales and done that. I've been doing some work. Um, so I'm now kind of, I've done most of the things I need to do by the end of the weekend, which is good because it means I can just hang out with her and stuff. Although on Saturday, I'm going to a fair thing um, where some of my books will be for sale. So I need to think about that in a bit and get all my stuff for that. Um, but that should be fine. I'm currently reading The Binding by Bridget Collins. I am about 50 pages from the end or something. I'm enjoying it so far. Uh, I will be doing a full review of it soon. And then after that, I think I'm going to read uh, Lives of the Stoics by Ryan Holiday. Uh, and I've got um, an audio book of Only You Can Save Mankind by Terry Pratchett, um, which is like a non-Discworld book. Uh, it's part of the Johnny Maxwell like trilogy, uh, although you can read them all as standalones. And uh, I, I really enjoyed it as a kid. Uh, it used to be one of my favourite of his books. And it's super short as well. It's like 180 pages or something. So um, I'm going to listen to the audiobook of that soon. In fact, I might listen to it today. I'm going to see how long it is. Let's have a look. Because it can't be as long as a Discworld, like a full Discworld novel, right? So it's four files. It's four hours, 12 minutes. So I could feasibly listen to that, like, this morning. So I think I might... I might try and do that, and then um, I'm probably going to, I need to do my hoovering, um, I might do do a walk, like I do, do a nice and early walk as well, we'll see, and then I might like nap before Susie comes over, I think if I can like nail like a four hour nap, something like that, it should be enough to then see me through to a normal bedtime tomorrow night, because Susie's staying over, so I don't want to keep her awake I actually I went to see her I think on Wednesday and she offered to, to let me stay over uh, but I didn't want to keep her awake I didn't think that was fair on her so I I walked home and did some more of my French practice as you do yep hello it's your boy Dane here it's currently Saturday night uh, so it's Saturday the 7th of November Amazing Phil was on The Weakest Link. I didn't know that. That's cool. Um, <laughs> so that's my YouTube recommendations. So, uh, hard at work all of last week. Um, I been I did take some vlog footage on my phone, but I haven't been able to get it to upload to my Dropbox yet. So I'm going to stick to it, see if I have any better luck, I suppose. Um, if not, I might be able to, I think I can get it off on my laptop. It just doesn't work on my computer for whatever weird reason. But yes, I've been vlogging while uh, Susie's been away and then she came back on Friday. So she came straight here on her way back. And um, so she stayed over last night and has been here for most of today. We did a bit of a spring clean. So thank you very much, Susie. Shout out to Susie. So now my kitchen looks nice. So now I just have to keep it looking nice and the bathroom as well. You hear that Biggie? We've got to keep it looking nice. He says that's okay. Uh, what, what have I read since last time? I've got a bunch of books ready to do reviews of. So I read, I finished reading Black Beauty according to Spike Milligan. That was like a 3.5 out of 5. It was alright. Then I read The Outsider by Albert Camus and I gave that probably a 4.5 out of 5. Um, the plot, not so much, but the things, the, like the, the ideas that it raises and the, the, the things that makes you question, you know, were um, really interesting. Uh, and the characterization as well, like the character, basically it was all about the character and the moral dilemma he was going through. Um, he basically gets in prison for not crying when his mum dies. So uh, yeah, that's what, probably all you need to know about that. Then over here, I have just finished reading The Living Room, which was a play by Graham Greene. Probably a 4.5 out of 5. I really like Graham Greene. He's one of my favourite authors. And in this one, basically this family lives in this old house. But they're slowly kind of moving closer and closer to the living room. Because after people, any, if anyone dies, they don't want to keep the room open. So they close up the room, you know. So then it becomes the living room because that's the only room they have left, basically. 
Uh, and so now I'm going to start reading Sad Cyprus by Agatha Christie, which should be good. Um, I don't have a huge amount of Christie left. As part of all the cleaning and tidying I've done, I now have up there on my bookcase, up there, I have a, a shelf free now. And I have a bedroom bookcase as well. So I'm hoping to be able to sort all of those out back into alphabetical order and get all my bedtime books in my bedroom, which is very exciting. At some point I need to try and sort all of my eBay stock to try and make that not necessarily in alphabetical order, but in rough alphabetical order. Um, yeah, Susie had a really good idea, which is to gather authors that I know I have multiple of together. So like Asimov, there's loads of Jean Plady up there, uh, Agatha Christie, Stephen King, etc, etc. Gather all of those together, um, and then I can maybe just roughly alph alphabetize what's, uh, what's left. So I think that's what we're going to do. Um, over there, I've just started cleaning it out underneath the sink, because that's one of the things that needs doing. Um, yeah, like, cleaning-wise, most of the cleaning is done now. Um, again, thanks to Susie. Susie basically did most of the cleaning. Um, I did a few bits like the windows and stuff, and I did some sorting um, before she came over as well. So I want to, I need to do under the sink in there. I need to move out, like, my sofa and my computer, just move it all into the middle of the room, basically, and then get behind that and clean all behind that. I need to do the same with my bed. I need to sort my TBR shelf out, I need to sort my stock books out, I need to sort my wardrobe, I need to make the bed, I need to do my laundry. And I need to wipe down the inside of the kitchen cupboards, which isn't on my list, so I need to add that. But these are all things I can slowly be chip chipping away at, you know? So, um... I'm not too worried about that. Oh, Susie drew this for me as well! She drew this. Which is very cool you may recognize that guy so uh, that's currently up on display on my computer desk oh I think that's about it I've got a lot of work on we're working on a very exciting like t-shirt campaign for the art center where we've got six local artists to design t-shirts so um, that's been keeping me busy but it's also been like super exciting it's a really cool project to work on so I'm pretty grateful to have been involved in that and I'll probably be getting a copy of each of their t-shirts uh, Susie's going to come back over tomorrow, so she's at hers tonight doing a bit of unpacking and she needs to try and like batch cook some food for work next week. Um, which gives me this evening, I can finally catch up on my booktube because obviously she's had my camera. Um, I need to do my next radio show, I need to do an interview for it, so I need to find someone I can interview at short notice, I guess. We'll, we'll do that this evening. But yeah, that's where I'm at, so um, I'm going to go film some other stuff now. Probably some haul. Oh, hello! It's Sunday the 8th of November. I've got about half of the footage I filmed on my phone, off my phone and onto my computer now. Biggie's coming. Are you going to come up, Biggie? Are you going to come and say hello? I think he doesn't know whether I'm talking to him or not. Uh, I'm currently still reading Sad Cyprus. Uh, Susie's coming over later. I said I might make some brownies, so that'd be nice. Uh, I want to have a quick hoover over a few bits before she gets here. Uh, and finish cleaning the oven if I get a chance. And, and hopefully hop in the shower as well. So it'd be nice to see her. And we're probably going to play some Agatha Christie Dead Man's Folly. It's like an item finding game. So we're probably going to play a bit of that. Sorry, I've only just woken up. Uh, so we'll probably play a bit of that, and then we're going to finish the Queen's Gambit. Aren't we, Biggie? Is that what we're going to do? Is that what we're going to do? He says yes. So that's what we're going to go and do now. Hello! Um, it is still Sunday. I think it was Sunday last time I filmed. And I'm still reading Sad Cypress by Agatha Christie. So uh, Susie came over earlier, and we watched the rest of uh, the Queen's Gambit, which was very good. Uh, I made some food, so I made us a stir fry and some brownies as well. Well, we made the brownies together, and they oh, they're good, mate. They're good. I've I've really got the hang of brownies recently, I think. So uh, Susie took some home, and I've still got some here as well. Um, yeah, still been slowly chipping away at the tidying, so I finished cleaning the oven. I think my next big job is probably going to be to sort my wardrobe. Oh. But yes. Um, other than that, all is good. Um, we've been playing some item finding games, so we completed uh, Agatha Christie's Dead Man's Folly, 
Uh, and so now we've been playing, I think it's called, uh, it's called Jack the Ripper Letters from Hell, I think. And it's quite good so far. Susie's played a lot more of it than I did because uh, she carried on playing while I was doing, um, doing the food. But yeah, it's fun. But that's where I'm going to leave you this week. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of the uh, books that I talked about. Hit that subscribe button for more and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.